the second day of the International Defense Industry Fair in Kielce, where companies from around the globe present their newest military equipment. And joined with me here today is Mr. Pashi Pashivirta, director and member of the board of Hanwha Aerospace Europe. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so, happy to be here. Please tell us what your company has brought this year to the Kielce Fair. Uh, this year we have uh, brought uh, several of our key uh, capabilities here. We are demonstrating here our latest version of uh, submarines. We have here uh, unmanned uh, ground platforms uh, which is uh, just uh, behind us, one of them. Then we have uh, here our rocket launchers uh, which you call here in Poland Homar K and also K9 main battle tank. And in addition, we are also de demonstrating here our capabilities in satellite surveillance capabilities. Okay, well, Poland actually has bought uh, a significant amount of uh, K9 self-propelled howitzers. Uh, how many have been purchased so far and how many of them have already arrived in Poland? So we have a framework contract for a total of 672 guns, which is quite substantial number. Uh, we yeah. have executive contracts for around 350, and 96 of them have been uh, delivered to Poland this, uh, this week. And uh, we are very proud of that because uh, this is only two years uh, from the signing of contract, and almost 100 guns have been already delivered. And how are these uh, howitzers uh, that are delivered to Poland? Are they fitted with Polish components, or are there plans to Polonize them in the future if they're not? So uh, there is a pollination program ongoing and uh, we are adding uh, po Polish contents all the time. The first batch which was delivered was uh, purely in Korean configuration because it uh, came straight from a Korean manufacturing line. The only main pollination thing was uh, to add uh, Polish uh, communication systems and fire control systems. But Polish content will be added uh, all the time because we have a very good core relationship with Polish defense industry. Okay, and what about the 155 millimeter am ammunition that is used for these howitzers? Is this produced in South Korea or perhaps it will be or is already in Poland? So, Hanwha doesn't make a 155 ammunition. We make charges, okay. but uh, currently Polish government has, uh, is using uh, their own uh, su suppliers uh, so far. Okay, and uh, apart from K9, because that was a really big purchase by the Polish government, but Poland has also bought the Chunmo missile artillery system. Uh, it's often referred to as to the Korean HIMARS. What can you tell me about the Chunmo system? So, we are very proud of that also. That is a very high class uh, product, and as you say, comparable to HIMARS, with the exception that uh, uh, we have uh, two rocket launch pods. Uh, compared to HIMARS, who has one. And uh, we have also a big contract for Poland in total of almost 300 rocket launchers. Something which is uh, worth of mentioning is that uh, all the rocket launchers here in Poland will be uh, set on a Polish Yeltsin truck. So Hanwha is uh, supplying the launch module and then integration work is done here locally by Polish uh, contractors. So does this mean that uh, your company, Hanwha, uh, cooperates with Yelts, or is it a broader cooperation? It is broader co cooperation with Yelts and also with uh, other Polish contractors who are responsible for integration of uh, the uh, launch module to platform. Okay, and what are the capabilities of the Chunmo launcher? Uh, what is the maximum range of its uh, rockets? The rocket uh, we currently have contracted with Poland has maximum range of 300 kilometers. Okay, so that would mean you can hit, uh, well, targets far away from the front lines too, if, of course, that is uh, necess necessary. And about the Chunmo itself, what part of that is being produced in Poland, or is it is any? Uh, the chassis, the platform itself. And okay. now we are discussing with the Polish industry uh, how we can uh, have this uh, launch module uh, production also localized. Okay, uh, what about the heavy uh, fighting, infantry fighting vehicle? Because uh, Poland has its own, uh, produced domestically, Borsuk. Um, is Hanwha manufacturing such a vehicle? Yes, uh, we have uh, our heavy infantry fighting vehicle uh, called uh, Redback, 
which was very successful in Australian competition, which we won. And we have a big contract to Australia, and that is also something we are proposing Polish government for consideration. Have other countries, perhaps, of Central Eastern Europe bought already that system, or is it new to Europe? Uh, this is new to Europe because uh, Australia was the first customer, and uh, that is totally new next generation infantry fighting vehicle. Okay, and going back uh, to the contracts that Poland has signed, are you expecting to sign any new contracts uh, with Poland on perhaps other equipment that we can see you're presenting here? Uh, we are in a constant discussion with Polish government and Polish customer, and I'm, I'm sure that uh, the trust uh, placed by Polish government to our products uh, will uh, give us uh, some more business opportunities. Okay, and uh, this is one of your products, actually, this big one here. Can you tell me something about it? What is it? So, it is our developed version of an unmanned ground vehicle, uh, which has a, a good capabilities uh, to maneuver uh, very highly artificial intelligence-based uh, uh, autonomous uh, drive system, and uh, also can be fitted uh, with a number of weapon systems of customer's choice. Okay, and has it been, for instance, uh, battle-tested, or not uh, yet? It has not been in battlefield yet, but uh, we have participated, for example, U.S. government uh, tests uh, last year, U.S. Marine Corps. Okay. Well, thank you very much. This was Pashi Pashivirta, director and member of the board of Hanwha Aerospace Europe. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Christoph. Thank you. And we were speaking at the Kielce International Defense Industry Fair, the second day of this very important in the defense industry event.